We have a question from Russell Brooks in the UK, who I've been helping for a few months now and managed to drastically improve. Tire wear on a race bike he is working with, with Dunlop 211s. Um, he has a follow-up question. Dave, what is happening when a tire wears with a lip on the leading edge of a tread groove and more wear on the trailing edge? I would assume this would, should happen the other way around. What causes this condition and how can it be tuned out? Well, Russell, thank you for your continuing questions and obviously your continuing support of us here at OTT and through Catalyst Reaction. In regards to your question, um, with the Dunlop 211s, when you're talking about the leading edge having a lip, that indicates if you are looking at the area on the tire where throttle is being applied, that rebound is too slow. Remember, rebound is fast or slow, compression is soft or hard. So what I would suggest, Russell, is that you take either one click or one eighth of a turn, depending on the shock, of rebound out, and then go run a 20 minute session and see how that works. Now obviously, this reflects low speed valving on the rebound stack itself. So, if you can't tune that out on the tire, is it that critical? Well, in looking at that, sometimes some tires wear more aggressively than others. Um, and so what I'll ask the rider is, does the bike hold its line? When you're at neutral throttle, is the bike stable? And when you get on the gas and you really get into the throttle hard, does the bike still hold its line? And if the reply is yes, then I won't be too overly concerned about that particular item of tire wear. If the rider says the bike fades slightly wide or he's got to put bar pressure on the inside bar to make the bike finish the turn, then I would definitely go to the back of the bike and start opening up the rebound circuit a little bit at a time. Obviously, with all the work we've done, everything is much closer now than it was, so tiny changes here will really bring out an enormous difference in tire wear. So please make sure, Russell, when you look at the tire that it is in the area so that should be obviously the center two thirds, perhaps more depending on the tire wear itself, where throttle is being applied. If there's no throttle being applied, I don't care. It doesn't matter. The bike is coasting, it's out of control, and I never tune a tire for those circumstances. Thanks for your question, Russell. Much appreciated. If any of you have questions for me, please send them through Facebook to Dave Moss Tuning. Thanks very much.